We are a fellowship of men and women who share our experience, strength, and hope with each other that we may solve our common problem and help others to recover from the disease. The only requirement for membership is a desire to stop killing. There are no dues or fees for KA membership. We are self-supporting through our own contributions. KA is not allied with any sect, denomination, politics, organization, or institution, does not wish to engage in any controversy, neither endorses nor opposes any causes. Our primary purpose is to stop our old behavior one day at a time and to help others to achieve the same freedom. And remember, what you hear here stays here. You hear? You hear. Hi, I'm Gary. I'm recovering. Hey, Gary. Hey, Gary. Hi, everyone. It's good to be here. Uh, so next week, I'll have 29 years. <laughs> Blows my mind. Very grateful for that. Uh, happy to be here at this meeting with all of you here. It's nice to see so many familiar faces. And uh, I'm amazed. I can't believe I'm here. I can't believe I made it that long. Um, my story, I, I shared a lot last week, so I'm going to keep it short. I came up out of turbulence, chaos, violence, and anger. And I used that. I got paid for it uh, as an enforcer and then as a hitman. And everything fell apart. I found these meetings, I found you all, and, um, and things turned around for me, and I'm really happy to be here. Um, thanks. Okay, who's next? I'll go. Hey everyone, my name is Bob. Hi Bob. Hey Bob. Hi Bob. Um, it, was, it was a month ago, I, uh, I was in. It's okay, Bob. Take your time. <laughs> I, sorry. Hey, what about this guy? He hasn't talked for three weeks. Hey, leave him alone. He's going through shit. Carmine, he'll share when he's ready, all right? How about you? All right. Hello, my name is Carmine, and I'm a recovering killer. I have learned that uh, we are as sick as our secrets. If you don't share, you can't get any help. I suppose you could say I'm a retiree. I haven't killed anybody for three years. Not that there haven't been people who were asking for it. <laughs> I got this manager at work, oh, Walmart. He laughs at all his own jokes. I want to put a knife through his neck. <laughs> but I use the tools I learned here. You see, I used to kill people because they asked for it. And believe me, there was lots of people that asked for it. But I don't do that anymore. Not even if they fucking beg for it. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks Carl. You wanna share? My name is Sheila. And I'm recovering. Hey, Sheila. Hey, Sheila. Been involved in killing people a long time. 14 years. I need a break. I'm here today because of Gary. I never knew how hard it was not to kill. I always thought of myself as a victim, and I was. Not just a victim of circumstance, but victim of my way of thinking. That's all I have to say. Thank you. Hi, I'm Ray, and I'm recovering. Hey, Ray. Hey, Ray. I haven't had a kill in nine months. 
least I don't think I've had a kill in nine months because I have blackouts and all my kills happen when I'm blacked out, so I don't really remember them. Hey, I'm doing good. Talking to my sponsor all the time. You know, positive. Thank you. Thank you. So that's it. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Ray. Thanks, Ray. Thanks, Ray. Hi, I'm Lenny, and I'm a recovering killer. Hi, Lenny. So I had an incident last night. As some of you know, I like to hang out around gas stations. And yesterday, I just happened to find myself coming back there after four months of not doing anything because there was this red-headed girl, maybe 17, 16 years old, I was following her over there. And when she got into that store, I saw that her back door was unlocked. So I snuck inside as I like to do. It's a lot of fun just riding home with them and waiting till they get there so I can finish them off. But 15, 20 minutes in that back seat and I, I didn't do anything. I just spent the night in that car and it's all thanks to this group. Thank you. Thanks, Lenny. Hey, and remember, watch those triggers, right? Remember, you spend enough time in a barber shop, you're bound to get a haircut. Thanks. Okay, now, who else? Uh, I'll go. Uh, what's up? My name's Jerome. Uh, I'm a recovering killer. Hi, Jerome. Um, Y'all might know me as J-Rock or the, the Crip Creeper. Uh, I got that name, uh, you know, because in the hood, on the set, I creep up on people, shoot them in the head. But, uh, you know, it's been about a month since my last killing, and uh, by looking at all these faces, I know that uh, I'm going to be able to make it. And, uh, you know, not kill nobody and stop because y'all inspire me to, you know, just do my thing and be straight and I think I can do it. So it's pretty much where I'm at. Thanks, Jerome. Thank you, Jerome. Thanks, Jerome. Keep coming back. Hi. Hi. My name is Travis. 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 Uh, been a while since I killed somebody, <laughs> but uh, last night there was a. Uh, Something right in front of my face. A mosquito! <laughs> I killed that fucking mosquito. <laughs> oh, what? What, is that, does that count? Do I have to start all over again? <laughs> That's between you and God. Thank you. You think it's funny? Huh? Mosquito? You killed a fucking mosquito? I was driving to 7-Eleven a month ago. I don't know where there's kids on the roof of my car. There's blood all over my windshield. <laughs> Fuck! Fuck! And you think it's fucking funny? I don't know what to do. It was my fault. It wasn't my fault, man. <laughs> Where was this? What? What? What street? I don't know. Third, I think. And, um... Cochrane? Yeah, that was it. <laughs> oh! That was my boy. Just kill me. Just kill me. You don't have to do this, Thomas. It's not worth it. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Just fucking kill me, okay? Just fucking kill me! The courage to change the things I can. And the wisdom to know the difference. <laughs>